Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Trackmaster Push Along Troublesome Truck. Uh, now, I've been sick this week, I have the flu, um, so my voice sounds a little bit different than normal, um, but without out of the way, let's take a look at this product. So overall, the one thing that I was most surprised about was the, the detail that was able to be captured here, and also lack of the uh, lack thereof. So the face itself is really great. There's no buffers though, uh, not really. And then the wheels look a little bit weird to me. There's also this removable coal load that's included. It's just a hollow piece of plastic, basically. Uh, the one thing that surprised me is this car body. Uh, the truck itself is actually all metal, except for yellow down. So that entire blue area is all metal. And here's a comparison to a standard. Trackmaster 2 truck, and you can see that it is too small uh, for that scale, but it's way too big for take along slash push along, and so I plan on using it for Trackmaster, and you'll see the inside there, it's not much depth on the inside, and you can also see the face where it clips in. All in all, it's not a bad item. It's actually pretty good. The price isn't bad at all. Uh, it was $4.99, and I wish that they would sell single, just regular Trackmaster rolling stock, because I would buy rolling stock like that. Um, is it something that I recommend you use for your Trackmaster layout? Not really. Uh, this is an item that I picked up mostly just for review purposes, um, but I will be using it more with my Trackmaster layout rather than with my take along or push along uh, collection. Another thing is too, I plan on modifying it with paint and weathering on that yellow. Anyway guys, this has been the Trackmaster Push Along Troublesome Truck. I hope you've enjoyed this look at it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.